look to what the Bible has to say. Now the Bible says this, that when we die, we will have to give an account to God. We will have to stand before Him. And He knows every single thing we have done. Every word we've spoken, every thought we have thought about, every word, every deed. God has seen all our actions. There's nothing hidden from God. Many people think, you know what? God doesn't know what I did. You know, a lot of us have this mentality that behind, hidden, behind closed doors, God doesn't know what we're doing. But don't be deceived. The Bible says that God knows all things. Nothing is hidden from God's eyes. Nothing is hidden from God's eyes, ma'am. And you're going to have to give an account to Him. So are you guys ready? It's a profound question to ask yourself, but are you ready to die and stand before God? I, I'm not insinuating that you're going to die right now, but you know what I am insinuating is if God wills it, it will take place. Are you ready, guys? Ma'am, are you ready to give an account to God? Are you ready to die and stand before Him? I'm ready for my account with God. You're ready to stand before God. So let me ask you this. When you stand before Him and He asks you, why should I let you into my heaven? What are you going to say to Him? My English is not 100%. Can you explain me that in a living way? Yeah, let me put it this way. When, you, when, you, when you're in front of God, okay, and He asks you, why should you have eternal life? Why should you be in heaven? What are you going to say to Him? Eternal love? Yeah. Salvation. Salvation? That's a hard question. I need to uh, think about what I'm going to answer you. This is something like if I'm going to answer him. I got to think about it. I'm not ready for that kind of question. Well, see, but he sent me for something to the world. He well, he, okay, here, here's, a good, here's a good thing that you just said. You, you, you're not ready to answer that question, and that's exactly why I'm out here, is because you don't know when you're going to die, right? You don't know when you're going to die, and you could, you could have to answer to God. Today, you can stand before God, and He'll ask you that. You'll have to, you'll have to be judged by Him. Yeah. So are any of you guys, ladies, are you ready to be judged by God? I know that's a... That's a you're ready? Because you know, at any moment... One of these cars, right? If we're passing across the street, we can get hit by a car. We're not certain when we're going to die. So it's imperative that we get right with God, right, ladies? You know that. Say that again. Did you say you, you know you're not going to die right now? But see, you, you, can't, you can't understand God and His plan. So I suggest you get right with God. Look to what He says in His Word to make sure that what you believe is true. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 5, it says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Now how many of us could say that we're pure in heart? How many of us could say before God, we are pure we have no sin. If you say, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, preacher, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? I'm a, I'm a good person, right? I'm a good person. God will let me in. But the Bible says, if you're not pure, you will not enter into the kingdom. The Bible says, you must be born again. Now, when we hear that terminology, we think, what do you mean by that, born again? But the Bible actually explains what that means. It, ne it means that we need, a tr we need a spiritual miracle. We need God to change our heart, to impart in us grace and faith and repentance. To have a right relationship with God, we can do nothing. The Bible says we are dead in our sins. We need God to change our heart. We need God to do a miracle within us. And the Bible says God does that today. Now, are you ready to stand before God? Are you ready? I know it's a serious question and it sounds very judgmental, but understand that God is going to judge you whether you like it or not, whether you believe in it or not. 
And what I want you to do is examine yourself according to God's law. Judge for yourself what God has already told in His Word. God tells us how we can know that we have eternal life. How we can know that we're going to heaven when we die. And the Bible says this, if we will look to the Scriptures, we can know that we have forgiveness of sins. And it's in this. When we look to God's law, when we look to the Ten Commandments, the Ten Commandments are God's standard of righteousness. Think of it this way, folks. If you, on this earth, do something wrong, you know you did it, you know you did something wrong because there's a commandment, there's a law, right? And it's the same thing with God. Did you guys know that, that there's a commandment? The Ten Commandments, are you guys familiar with that? Yeah? yeah? yeah. How many can you name? Ten. Can you name ten? Yeah! Okay, go for it. What's the first one? Or, or better yet. Let's not be any God before God. Absolutely. It, it, Second, don't, uh, don't make idols. Yes. Third, don't blaspheme. Yeah. Oh. Honor your father and mother. Fifth, fifth. Uh, okay. that's fifth. Four is the Sabbath. Six is don't kill. Seven is don't cheat. Adultery. Eight is don't lie. Nine is don't lie. And ten is don't cover. How do you know? All are, are you familiar with... Uh, Okay, okay, all right. I was like, how do you know those? Out of everybody that I've asked, only I think only three of them has anybody been able to answer. Okay, well, then that doesn't count. <laughs> but for those of you that are walking by, that are listening in, I just asked her if she can name the Ten Commandments. Now, I asked her that question simply because of this. The Bible says that God is going to judge us according to His standard of righteousness according to His goodness. And that is, that is shown in God's commandments, the Ten Commandments. And what I suggest each and every one of you to do is judge for yourself according to God's law. Are you right in God's sight? The Bible says that if you lie, God sees you as a liar. If you've stolen anything, that would make you a thief, right? If you take God's name in vain, you would be what, what the Bible terms a blasphemer. Yes. And if you've, if you've looked with lust, Jesus says that that is the same thing as committing adultery in your heart. And the reason that is, is because God doesn't just look at our actions. God looks at our heart. Are you guys ready to be, to, to be judged by God? Is your guys' heart pure? Because the Bible says, the Bible says, Unless you're born again, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. If your heart is not clean before God, you're under God's condemnation. You see, you see, God judges us according to His law, not according to man. God will not judge us according to our friend, according to Hitler, according to Osama bin Laden, according to Barack Obama. God is going to judge us according to Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you guys ready? I know it's, it's, it's an intense question, but you guys... Answer this question on this. Are you guys ready to stand before God? 